There are some other differences with trade. For example, if we have four or five members doing the same thing, four or five electricians, and there may be two or three of the electricians or have maybe accumulated some trade dollars in their account, they might have four or five thousand dollars in their accounts, whereas we might have one or two that maybe their kids just got sets of braces and they're now four or five thousand deficit. If somebody calls over here and says, I need an electrician, as a broker, my, my objective is to get those people who are using their trade dollars more trade dollars because, because they're using them. It's, I'm not going to send it to the people who are accumulating dollars. There's a difference between the cash world and the tra trade world in that it's okay to build up dollars in your, in your real cash checking account. It's really not okay to build up trade dollars in your account. It doesn't collect interest. It may, there's, there should be no incentive to, to accumulate trade dollars. Sometimes we notice people will accumulate trade dollars because they're saving up for a jet ski. You know, they'll call us up six or seven months later and they'll say, I'm saving up for a jet ski. I say, well, we don't have a jet ski dealer in the group. What, what are you saving up for that for? I said, well, we're hoping you're going to get it. Well, we don't. In the meantime, what you could have been doing over the past six months on a daily, weekly, monthly basis is spending with things that are readily available to you and saving your cash, spending trade on those things and saving your cash to buy that jet ski.